The opening ceremony of the 77th annual Cannes Film Festival, a festival held to celebrate cinema and reward the year's best film, is now live at the Palais de Festival in France. And because this event has become an essential meeting and gathering for actors, directors and producers, we surely expected our favorite movie stars and faves to show up in their most grandeur fashion. Luckily for us, some of our faves did not disappoint. So here are the top 10 best dressed at the opening night of the Cannes Film Festival 2024. Take a look. <laughs> First up on our list, we have the strikingly gorgeous Australian model Shanina Shaikh. And for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this red strapless long dress by Zuhar Murad from their Fall Winter 2024 collection. And tonight, she was styled by the incredible Armasana Gendunova. And I think she really looks stunning in this red dress tonight. Now, it's the Cannes Festival. We really don't expect the regulars. We really expect the glitz and glam when it comes to the red carpet. And just when you think it's enough, we just might require you to give us some more. More. and i think tonight shanina has met the fashion criteria in this look and i loved it now i just really love how elegant this look is on her and just the feet and the design details that we see on this dress i mean it has that strapless neckline detail just going into that not so risque neckline and i think that in itself was so beautifully executed now the ruching that we see on the bodice area just also just really helps to secure her shape and snatch her so there wasn't really any need for a corset detail in this dress. I mean, this look is fire for me and I just really love the way she has styled this up. Now, for styling, she has paired this look with that neck piece and matching earrings by Marley. And I think that in itself just brought this look together beautifully. So yeah, overall, this look by Shanina really gave us glamour and it's so hot for me. Up next on our list, we have the beautiful Eva Green. And for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this black sequin and tulle strapless dress by Armani Privé from their Spring Summer 2016 collection. And tonight, she was styled by the super talented Harold James. And this to me was definitely one of the standout pieces tonight. Now, even though this dress is in the color black, just the details that we see on the dress just really takes this look to the next level for me. And that to me comes as a shocker because black dresses are known to lose details, but that's Really not the case here and i really loved it now i just really love the design element that we see run throughout the dress as well as the mixing and matching of different textures of fabric i mean we see that sequin material up top at the bust area then it now flows down into that black tool moment that has those musical inscription and to me all these elements are just added on with a precision and value i also really love this gradient effect that was created by lining that inner tools curved with white i just think it created that beautiful glistening effect and i really loved it i love this fringe hair moment on her and i just really love those purple earrings i think that it was just a nice contrast to the overall look so yeah this look on her fits right it was giving me a fairy tale fantasy and it's so hot for me up next, we have the stunning Thai actress Araya Hargate. And for the opening night of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this black velvet strapless long dress by Pierre Balmain Couture from their Autumn Winter 1988 collection. And tonight, she was styled by the super talented Bilal Fakir. And I mean, she definitely brought the elegance to us tonight. Now, I definitely have noticed strapless dresses being the trend of tonight. And I mean, our superstar have been pulling it off so beautifully so guess what i'll take it now i just really love the way this dress fits her to a t and how that velvet just meshes up against her skin tone i mean there's just a richness that it exudes and i'm just really here for it now i also really love how multifaceted this dress is because merely just looking at this look from the front you know what it's cute and all however the star of the show is really at the back of this dress that really reveals into that white blue and silver motif and i just really think
think that the juxtaposition of the simplicity really happening in the front and the dramatics going on at the back is just something that I could really appreciate. Now, I really love this jewelry on her and I mean one thing about our five superstars is that they would not shy away from a good jewelry and I think this piece just ultimately works for her. So yeah, this look by Araya spoke real glamour to me and it's a heart for me. Up next, we have the super talented actress, writer, and director Greta Gerwig. And for the opening night of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this burgundy wine sequin long dress by Saint Laurent. And tonight, she was styled by the amazing Carla Welch. And you know what? This is the most beautiful I've seen Greta in a while all through the awards season. And even though this look in itself is really not all the way grandeur and extravagant, I still will take it. Now, I just really love the structure of this dress and how it was just playing with the idea of what a suit dress could be. You can just see the way it was structured in the shoulders as well as the firmness that just really comes with it. And I just really think that that in itself was really interesting. Now, this look fits right. It looks elegant in this dress. And I mean, I'll just take all of it. I would say though that I maybe would have loved to see a neck piece that just traveled within her bosoms and I think that in itself would have just sealed a deal for me. But yeah, this is still a great look to me and it's a hot for me. Up next, we have the stunningly gorgeous Leah Sado. And for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this custom silver sequin of the shoulder long dress by Louis Vuitton and she was styled by the beautiful Alexandra Imgrud and you cannot tell me that she did not snatch all the attention tonight in this custom look because I mean she looks like a million bucks. Now first of all can we just really talk how good she looks in silver? I think she's a silver diva and she wears it so well. Now I just really love that this dress in itself is not just a flat silver sequin dress i mean when you really look closely at the look it has those blue and black beadings that just really added an extra layer of texture to this look now for styling she has gone with that neck piece that really matches the dress and a pair of silver sandal heels and i think all of it together just really works for me her hair was perfection tonight for this dress and that slit was just enough to keep us wanting more so yeah this look by leah was definitely a hot for me up next, we have the stunning supermodel Taylor Hill. And for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this white and black off the shoulder dress. And I think this was yet again another interesting take of what a suit dress could be. And I think she really nailed it tonight. Now, I just love how simple and elegant this look is. And I just really love that it plays with different fabric colors and textures in order to just achieve this look. Now, from this heavily beaded top part of the dress that just gives the illusion of a blazer lapel to that white part of the dress down to the floral buttons it is evidence that this look was very well thought out now i really love her hair and her jewelries that to me was so beautifully done so yeah this look by taylor hill was definitely a hot for me up next we have the effervescent tatiana korsakova and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this emerald green velvet long dress by Elisab from their Autumn awesome Winter 2023 collection. And she was styled tonight by the incredible Alexander Belows. And she definitely made the girls green with envy in this dress. And I really love that for her. Now, I personally am such a huge fan of the Elisab brand. And just their pieces are always just showcasing the beauty of womanhood. And I really love that we ultimately just just see that through this look now she looks soft and feminine in this look and there's just a richness that this velvet just really brings out in her and i'm obsessed i also really love the design details that we ultimately see on this dress i mean that naughty type sleeve that we see was such a nice detail to set this dress apart i also really love this draping and cross draping details that we see on the brothers area i think it was very well done this tie high sleeves was literally everything and i just love that her jewelry matches her dress that kind of you know just ties everything together with that being said i really wasn't super keen on those white gloves i think that this look would have just done fine without them but it still really doesn't take away from the entirety of this look so yeah this look by tatiana was definitely a heart for me 
Up next, we have the beautiful Romy Stride. And for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this pale pink strapless feathered long dress by Eman Alajalan. And she was a vision in this dress tonight. Now, first of all, I mean, this dress is giving me very fairy tale fantasy meets glamour. And honestly, I just want to be a part of her world in this dress. Also, I really just love this dress in itself. I think it was just so beautifully constructed. And I think it just had a lot of movement due to the use of the ostrich feathers and i think that in itself just added another element of visual interest to this look this look in itself fits right and she definitely looks like she was red carpet ready in this ensemble now for styling she has paired this look with those jewelries from messica and i think that ultimately just worked for me so yeah this look overall just really did what needed to be done and it's a heart for me up next on our list, we have the gorgeous Helena Christensen. And for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this all-white long gown with a cape by Vivian Westwood. And she was starred by the incredible Clement Lomellini. And I mean, you cannot deny that she looked so good in this look tonight. Now, this look in itself was giving me very angelic. This was giving me very goddess. And I really loved it. Now, first of all, I'm really just in love with this neckline going into that corsetry moment i think that vivian westwood as a brand has just a distinct way of corset making and they do it so well now this look on her is neat it's elegant and i'm just really loving that cape-like addition that we see going on i think that just added dimensions to this look now for styling she has paired this look with that neck piece from pomelato and i think that in itself was just screaming super expensive to me this hair on her was so sweet and it looked super dainty and i loved it so yeah this look by helena was definitely a hot for me lastly on our best dress list we are not leaving our men behind we have the legendary giancarlo esposito and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival he had on this black blazer set and he looked really good now this is a black look nothing really special but what i really loved about this look is just the way he has styled up this look with the bow and the hat i think that in itself just added a fresh take to just wearing a suit and i kind of am into it now this suit fits just right and he looks dapper for sure in this look so yeah this look by giacalo is definitely a heart for me Alright guys, we have come to the ending of today's video. In today's video, I shared with you guys my top 10 best dress at the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And yeah, I will definitely see you guys in the next video where I share with you guys my top 10 worst dress at the opening night of the Cannes Film Festival. You don't want to miss that one. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. But for now, it is bye guys. Au revoir.